So I'm gonna try to get through this video without crying. And he's not worth my tears because he didn't even last two nail sets. I'm gonna make a joke or else I'm gonna cry. <laughs> so the giant and I are no longer going to be seeing each other. I got a text this morning um, asking, hey, can we have a phone conversation tonight? It shouldn't take long. My brain immediately goes, oh, this is the end. I'm not going to wait all day for somebody to break up with me. Or I can't, guess you can't really break up with me. Since we were barely dating. Um, two and a half dates. Well, three. Um, and so I, me being me, immediately go, well, you're either breaking up with me or uh, you are canceling our date on Friday. Because we were supposed to go out tomorrow um, for an activity. He then sends me this... Oh, I also didn't pry my face. Oh, well. Um, he sends me this long message, pause to read. And I'm sitting in my doctor's office thinking, why am I getting upset over a man right now? Because I honestly was like kind of changing myself for him. Um, I am a very big texter. He's not, and I just, like, didn't want to overwhelm him because I know he's, like, super busy with his job. And I found myself changing for him. So I was more desirable because I really liked him. I really liked him, and I wanted to see where things would go. It's honestly, like, so funny to me that he said what he said because this man also, like when I was over his apartment, kept telling his dog, we'll get used to this one because she'll be around for a while. So the fact that he is now breaking up with me, um, even though I was so patient and so, I was so patient and I wasn't over texting like I normally do because I love to text and communicate throughout the day, but I understand like he's a very important job and I wasn't that and yet still can't keep a man. Pause to read, this is what I said. But don't worry, you guys. I have a date this Saturday with somebody new. When water buffaloes meet a potential partner, they think free dates means they are in a relationship, but it doesn't. Water buffaloes are either getting heavier or lighter. There's no in-between. The heavier they get, the less appealing they become to potential partners. I learned about all of this from watching the Discovery Channel. It's a show called Water Buffaloes in the Wild. It's a good show. Let's do a get ready with me slash juicy story time. Recently, a really cute guy slid in my DMs. We ended up talking for a couple weeks. He was really respectful and just seemed like a total gentleman. And if you are someone who dates men, you know that is pretty freaking rare. So then last week I was like, you know what? I'm gonna give you my number. And then the next day I did not hear back from him on text or on Instagram. I waited another day then I was like, okay, he has officially ghosted. I do not tolerate ghosting or any poor behavior like that. So naturally I blocked him. Then this past Friday, I get a message from his girlfriend saying they've been dating for a year. I messaged her back saying I had no idea he had a girlfriend. He said he was single. I already blocked him. I'm not talking to him, so it's all good. So that was kind of a bummer, but just wait, it gets worse. So this next part might seem a little bit random, but I promise it'll all make sense in a minute. A little while back, I learned that there are pictures of me on Reddit in a subreddit that essentially fetishizes fat people and weight gain. So I myself don't use Reddit, but I learned about this because someone DM'd me with a link to the post that I was in. And on Sunday, I got a, another creepy message with a link to pictures of me in a subreddit. So I decided to go look. I see the pictures and I'm looking in the comment section and there are tons of comments of people saying, who is that? Who's the person in the pictures? And then I also see that there is someone dropping my Instagram handle all over the comment section. 
And who is it that's dropping my username, you ask? It's just the guy who I was talking to that was cheating on his girlfriend. His Instagram name and his Reddit username are the same, so it really wasn't that hard to put it together. I just want to let you know that if you are single and dating and having a hard time, you are definitely not alone because it is brutal out here. Thanks for listening, friends. I love you so much, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! This second specimen thought they could attract an alpha male mate, but it seems amongst the herd there was word going around that a water buffalo was fetishized for having extra meat than usual. So the herd sent out an alpha male who already had a partner of his own to see if the water buffalo would take the bait. The trolling worked and the water buffalo fell for the bait but because of the water buffalo's incredible sense of smell she figured out the alpha male already had a partner so the water buffalo had to cut her losses now the water buffalo roams the fields searching for another alpha male to partner up with will this water buffalo ever find a partner only time will tell stay tuned for the next episode of water buffaloes in the wild it's uh extremely entertaining Thank you.